Hi, welcome to Hive Edwards, and today I'm doing a Spanish lager blind taste test. Um, but all is not what it seems. So this is Estrella, brewed in Barcelona, um, and is a half decent beer. This is Aldi's Spanish lager. Um, I don't think it's any sort of, uh, you know, coincidence that these two are very similar uh, designs. Um, and I quite like the look of this one, uh, you know, angry looking Spanish bull there and a angry looking Spanish bull. So not bad for a Spanish lager uh, that's brewed in the Netherlands. So yeah, Aldi have done their usual trick of mocking up something um, to look like something else. But what does it taste like? Never had this. So uh, this one is a 4.8 in a 500ml bottle uh, and this is a 4.6. Uh, this one is a 330ml bottle but it does come in various sizes. So my good lady is going to take these away, pour them into a glass. I'm not going to know which is which and I'll tell you which one I think is better. We have two very similar looking beers. The one in my right hand appears to have a creamier looking head that's sticking around. The one in my left, not so. I would say this one in my left looks a little bit more carbonated, um, while the one in my right is a little bit more gentle. So, so there's a little bit of malt there. Not much else going on. A bit of sweetness there. Okay, so malty, a little bit of sweetness there, a bit of lemon if I sniff really hard in the one on my right, the one on my left. God, I can get his hands mixed up now. This is completely different. So this is much more. So sawdust and pencil shavings came to mind. A little bit of toast. So sweet malts, sawdust, pencil shavings, toast. Quite a thin mouth feel. There's no sweetness there. Bit of malt. Put on a big flavour, typical lager. I mean, they're both lager style beers, but. Thicker mouthfeel. There is some malts there, that toasted malt. Okay. Okay. One will go with this one. So the one in my right has bags more flavour. It's a gentle toasted, a toasted malt. There's no sort of bitterness there. It's a, a much richer mouthfeel, much thicker mouthfeel. So I think that the one in my right hand is going to be Estrella. And I think the one in my left hand is going to be the fakey lager. Either way around, the one in my right hand is the one that I prefer. Okay, let's have the reveal. Okay, so there you go. So this one is Estrella, really. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. They've done this. Um, they've, they've done this. Aldi, uh, in the blind taste test that I've done, 
Um, I did a Cronenberg and a, I want to say 1897. I've got those numbers completely wrong. But they do like a fake Cronenberg, which is much better than uh, than the original Cronenberg. Um, and then I tried their Rossini lager versus Peroni. And the Rossini came out uh, far better. I'll put the links to these. Um, and I was, for a beer that I quite liked, I was odds on that the Estrella was going to win. Uh, and I just thought, yeah, I'll be able to find out, you know, it'll be head and shoulders above. And it just shows you um, what they can do. But it's brewed in the Netherlands. It does have a slight sweetness on the back end, but it's not unpleasant. Okay, so there you go. Uh, not bad at all uh, on the uh, Corolla. So, what's with the fake Spanish stuff? Why don't they just, you know, you know, an half decent lager? I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand marketing, which is why, I, you know, I don't own a supermarket. Um, uh, okay, so uh, if you're at all interested. Um, this was about 140 a bottle. Yeah, about 149, I think. 149 a bottle, and we picked this up. Do we pick up a four pack? No, we just bought two. So I think they were. About two pound oh. a bottle. Were they really that much? Yeah, it's not It's not cheap, cheap budget lager. So there you go. Um, both very good beers, both drinkable, both typical lager style beers. Um, but uh, Carulo from uh, Aldi is not bad at all. Yes, yeah, that slight sweetness as it fades that 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 I'm enjoying. Okay, uh, if you're enjoying these, uh, please let me know. Um, give me your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, have you tried it? Did you like it? Um, what are your thoughts on Estrella? Um, Mm, really interesting. I yeah, ooh, it shows you you shouldn't uh, shouldn't judge a, bug, a bugger. <laughs> one, I've had one beer before this. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover, or a bugger by his jacket. Who? I'm rambling now. Cheers. <laughs>